It's a pivotal day now for the United States of America and possibly for the world as much. Millions of voters set to head to the polls to cast their ballot. It's the 5th of November. Candidates making their final pitch as hours to go. Donald Trump, Kamala Harris have been rallying their supporters with very strong messages about their vision for the future. Kamala Harris has appealed for a fresh start for the country, urging voters to pick a president who can uplift everyone, warning against falling for what she called Trump's tactics on election fraud. Now, Kamala Harris has also stressed the importance of addressing ongoing conflict, which is Israel and Gaza, for example, saying the war needs to end, hostages need to be saved. In the closing remarks, meanwhile, Donald Trump has criticized the Democrat Party, labeling it as a demon party, promising that he will fix everything that Kamala Harris and Biden that they have broken. He highlighted issues at the border, saying an army of gangs and criminals has been unleashed on us and that the U.S. economy needs to be saved at the earliest. So these are respective issues that they have been pushing for. Let's listen in to some of the reactions that are coming in on this. Now, a lot of people in India watching this have, have, have said, you know, who is going to be better for India, right? I mean, mm -hmm. is it Donald Trump? Is it Vice President Kamala Harris? What would you like to tell them? I'd say that we, uh, if we elect Kamala Harris tomorrow, we will have the first president ever who visited India as a child, who has Indian relatives, who ex experienced what it's like to really know India from that perspective, not just as a geopolitical ally, but really from the bottom up. I mean, I feel like I have a different kind of sense of India myself from having gone there every few years, talking to my relatives, seeing my WhatsApp with all my Indian relatives on it. You know, you just experience things in a very different way. And I think her added understanding of India from that perspective will be is an unfathomable asset in the bilateral relationship between the United States and India. And I think India will be very proud to have a daughter of India as president of the United States. You know, one last question. I know everybody is going to Pennsylvania. What are you doing between now and results come out? Where will you be? What are you doing to make sure you guys do everything you can to elect her? Well, I'm heading out to York, Pennsylvania this afternoon to get out the vote to canvas. I really think this election is crucial. It's every vote counts and really it's up to all of us. So I, I've been out. I said I was, as I said, I was in Georgia and I've been north to North Carolina a couple of times. And now I'm heading out to Pennsylvania and I'll be in Pennsylvania tomorrow as well to get out the vote and to really, you know, there are people who have some last minute questions, answering every question. We are earning every vote in this election. Kamala Harris is, is earning every vote. And so we're all out, we're all out hitting the pavement for her to, you know, really um, grasp this moment. And I think, again, I would just say, I think the election really does boil down to, for the Indian American community and for all communities, whether all of our voices will be part of this or whether just some of our voices will be heard. And, you know, we've all lived through periods where there's more bias and anger, and then there's periods where we feel more welcome. And I just think, you know, we stand at a moment where Indian American voices will not just be heard, but will roar in this election. You know, I, I did say one last question. I do have one more now. Sure. Uh, How is President Biden looking at this uh, you know, election cycle? I know, you know, he, he made the move. He, he stepped out of the race. What are his thoughts? Because you are an advisor to the president. Uh, I am. So tell us what is he thinking? What's going on in the White House? Give us some details. What yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy to do that. You know, the president is really proud of the vice president. As he said, you know, he was a vice president. He knows every vice president, every, every vice president runs is their own person. She will have her own policies. But I think he's incredibly proud of her. And he wants nothing more than her to succeed. I think he thinks it was a great decision to select her as vice president. And I think he really does. Uh, he's he's uh, first in line as her fan, um, but also recognizes she will have a different president she, presidency. She has a different, she has additional advisor. She's running her own race. And I think that's really um, the position of respect that he has for her.